Hi, hello and welcome to another session with your designer by design. In this video, we are going to cover a feature in Microsoft PowerPoint that could make your life easier when working in complex slides. Imagine working in a slide with many overlapped images, letters and shapes and you wanted them in a certain order. But when you select a layer, you had to either move the top layers or use send to back or send backward to reach the desired object. Well, there is a better way to do that. It's called the selection pane. The main objective of this tool is to select shapes, picture, letters, or for that matter, any object in your slide. Let's see how useful this feature is and how it works. For instance, here, I have placed several objects in a single slide and when working with so many objects in time, it could be hard to manage and arrange each object at the right place and with the right timings if you are going to animate them. So here is how you can manage multiple objects easily using the selection pane. To open the selection pane, go to the home tab and then click select drop down button and then click select pane. In case the selection pane is not completely visible, use the vertical divider to resize it. In the selection pane, you will see all the objects that you have inserted in your slide. Each time you insert an object to the slide, its default name appears in the selection pane. Let me insert a rectangle. Now you will see the shape name in the selection pane with a default number. The more number of shapes and objects that you add to a slide, the harder it gets to remember the objects and its layers with its default name. The easy way to overcome this is to give a meaningful name to the objects. While naming the same, make sure it's unique if possible. To rename an object in the selection pane, click on the object name. You will notice that it also selects the appropriate shape on your slide. Now, Click on the name another time. The edit box appears for you to rename the object. When you have grouped few objects, PowerPoint will branch them under a group. You can select the group name and have it renamed as well. Try naming all the objects if you know that you are going to work with many shapes and objects. It helps to easily recollect the object by its name. Now let's see how else the selection pane makes the life easier. On the top of the selection pane, you can see two buttons, show all and hide all. As the name suggests, hide all hides all the objects on the selected slide and show all brings them back. Okay, let's say I wanted to change the background of this presentation without disturbing the rest of the layers. Click on the hide all button. And now you get to work on your background. Once you are done editing, click show all to make all the objects visible at the slide. Through selection pane, you can also hide and show a single object or group using the associated eye icon. Clicking the eye icon once will hide that shape or object on the slide and the eye icon appears with a slash indicating the hidden object. At any given point in time, you can view the icons to find if an object is hidden or not. Let's say, if I want to quickly align the options A through E, I can hide all and show only those groups, align them, and click on the show all button again. Another useful feature is, you can reorder the objects within the selection pane. You don't have to disturb the rest of the objects or its layers. You do that by selecting the object in the selection pane and dragging it up or down to the desired order. I will show you another example where there are too many overlapped objects. Here, if I want to move the clouds layer, it becomes harder to select as there are many other objects on top of it. The simplest way is to select the clouds object in the selection pane, which in turn selects the object on the slide for you to work on. If you need to select multiple objects, hold the control key and click on the necessary objects. Now you can drag them to reorder on the slide or you can perform any other commands 
on the selected objects as you usually do. I hope you find this video helpful and informative. If yes, then do thumbs up, comment and share this video. For more such useful videos, subscribe to Designer by Design. Bye now.